guys, it's the uh, crazy knife guy and I'm back. And I just want to get this out of the way so no one says it anymore and bugs me. All this shit, the stuff people said, why are you cutting live stuff? That's kind of a douchey thing. All this stuff, those two trees and all this are going to be cut off because my house is up there and my grandfather has a plan that he wants to build a tree house in here and a walkway to take my little brother all the way to the creek and stuff so my mom and every, well, my grandma can come back here and stuff because she'll walk through the mud or nothing. So he's trying to get all this cleared next i think it's this coming summer he's trying to get all this cleared so we can have time to make the path and everything through so yeah that's just a quick little thing on why is that but let's fast forward into what the video is actually right. about what is up guys i'm back Yay. we're gonna be doing uh, i hope you guys can see this we're gonna be doing the uh, review for this now i'm not gonna be doing nothing really insane or anything first off the sheath it keeps it from fucking anything up it's the cheapest condor sheet I've ever seen, but it's awesome. But I think this was, uh, I don't know, I don't, it was not over $80 where I got it at Knife Center. But here it is. I would come back here so I can show you guys what I did. Um, you can see I etched it a little bit. I like making things look really old, rustic-y looking. So myself, I etched it and I did sharpen it. And then I put some uh, hockey tape around the handle with a little bit of electric tape to keep it from falling off. So yeah, that's that. And now, let's get to the All test. All right, guys, and make sure everything is in frame. I know I should have done this before I started the video. I know, I know, but I'm a moron, so I did. All right, so this is about a three and a half, four inch piece falling down off of the tree that's up there. And we're just gonna see what it takes to get through it with this. So yeah, let me just get all this little shit out of my way. I don't want to cut my leg anymore. All right, here we go. Harder than I expected, but it's holding up to it pretty well. Not yet. Close. <laughs> Not bad. Let's keep going until we get to it though. Not bad, not bad at all. Make sure everything's still in frame. I hope that was all in frame. Oh well, we'll check it and get to the next test. All right, sweet. All right, let's chop on this piece. This is a little bit different piece. I put, put this here so I can see where my camera was aimed. Let's see what we get here. It did pretty good. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that perfect. Sweet. Miss. Took 23. That'll hold up. It actually held up pretty good. No complaints. And yes, I just stabbed that in the ground. Because if I need to fix it, I can. It's not that bad. Not bad at all. Let's see how it does against some smaller stuff. This is about a maybe two inch piece of the same thing we just did. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how we do. I'm going to go at an angle. Not bad. A little bit too springy though. 
Oh, well, we're going to have to live with it now. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love this thing. Can't even lie. It's awesome. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to go adjust the camera, so sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit. And we're going to end this shit so I can go upstairs and make some breakfast. So, yeah, right, catch so you when I move. this video on the uh, Condor, Didal, or War Sword, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to do any more tests with it. I've already cut a few trees. That's not what it's for. It's a sword. What I just did was totally impractical and really stupid. But I don't care because it's a giant cleaver looking thing and I like giant cleaver looking things. Maybe that's why my women are so bad to me. Not the point. Anyway, so. What do I think about it? For the price of it, it's awesome, affordable sword. You can get it on Knife Center. I think Blade HQ has it for pretty cheap, but I think Knife Center's got the best price right now. I could be wrong. And uh, I'll put the link to Knife Center's website if I can do that, if I remember how, in the link in the description box below. I'll put the specifics for this in the description box below, like I did in the unboxing video for this thing. And uh, as always, after the video, I am going to put pictures of this so there's gonna be that too um, I guess I should kind of start a rating system tactical and everybody else has a rating system so I should rate this thing based off of what I've used uh, for the price and what it's for it's awesome does it have any practical use in today's world other than using it as a trainer sword or anything like that no because I doubt you're gonna be taking this on your father-son camping trip to harvest firewood so no it does not have any super practical uses. But is it fun as shit and awesome to use? Fuck yeah. It's a giant cleaver looking sword. Why wouldn't it be fun? So in my opinion, out of a... I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to go 1 to 10 instead of 1 to 5. Uh, I give this practicality like a 3. But is it just fun to use and awesome to have? I'm going to give this a 6.5. It doesn't cut as good as other things, but then again, it's not made to. To me, it's more for fun and use and just, care, you know, tearing shit up. You know, you go outside, you have a bunch of ballots, want to break them down fun. There you go. So that is it. That is my quick review of the uh, Condor War Sword, or Die Dow. I hope you guys like it. I am the crazy motherfucking knife guy. And as always, I don't know what I'm doing. Keep it crazy. Last born a